Line Learner is a popular app for learning lines for theatrical, television, movie, and other productions. This is a quick start introduction intended to provide a new user with the ability to create scripts, record lines, and play them back in various ways to learn them. The objective is simplicity, not comprehensive knowledge of Line Learner. I will share what I have found most useful. Opening the app, the app's main landing screen is Scripts. At the bottom are navigation icons for Script, Record, Play, Help, and Share. We will only be addressing the first three. On the Script screen, clicking in the input box at the top brings up a keyboard. Entering the name you'll call your script and pressing Create Script does exactly that. In this case, we've created Bug House. The app can hold many scripts, but I've only retained one other as an example. Highlight the script, then choose the Record action at the bottom. For simple line learning, I find the default of me and them to be sufficient. We're only recording my portions of the script. For simplicity, I record my lines and someone else reads everyone else's lines. To record, Press the Me icon at the bottom. Me turns red while recording. To stop recording, press the same icon again. Pass the device to them and repeat using the Them icon. Alternatively, have your friend sit beside you and place the phone or tablet on a soft surface for vibrations between you. Alternate the buttons. Press Me and read your line, press them and they read theirs, press me for your next. To stop recording, press the active icon, the red one. I find that dividing the script into chunks that contain my lines is helpful. If I have a page and a half at the beginning of a scene and more near the end, I separate them using the line learner scene feature then I can practice each smaller set of lines separately, which speeds my learning. In this case, I'd like to be able to practice chunk 1 again and again, then chunks 2 and 3, and finally practice straight through all of them. To do this, record the cue lines and your lines for the first section or chunk, then press New Scene and record the next set of lines. Then we'll rename them to identify your chunks. If you make a mistake recording, swipe right to left on the line and delete. Then highlight the line before where you would like it and re-record. The re-recording is added after the highlighted line. When finished recording your chunks or scenes, go back to the scripts tab, highlight the script and press the right arrow then select Scenes. I recommend renaming your scenes for easy reference. My personal preference is by Act, Scene, and Page Number. In the Scenes image, see the selected Scene 2 in the red circle at the top. These are the recordings scenes, not the plays scenes, unless that's how you recorded them. In this case, Scene 2 is selected. If this chunk is Act 1, Scene 2, I overtype with A1S2, a space, and the page number, P36. If I have two sets of lines within Act 1, Scene 2, and I separated them by starting a new scene, I'll name them both A1S2, but the page numbers will be different. Also on the Scenes screen, you can move lines within the script. Tap the Move Copy button at the top, and the three horizontal dashes appear after each line. Press on one, holding it, and slide the line to the desired location. Deleting things in Line Learner is a swipe from right to left, but it is location dependent. On the Scripts screen, swipe to delete the scripts. On the Scripts Scene screen, Show Scenes tab, 
swipe deletes entire scene. On Scripps Scene Screen, Show Lines tab, swipe deletes individual lines. On the Record screen, you can also swipe to delete lines. On the Play screen, you cannot delete lines. Now select the Play icon and we'll learn how to practice your lines. Playback is done by highlighting the line to start and pressing the Play icon to start and pause the playback. That's all you do and it plays all of the lines. Pressing Prompt is useful for specific lines since it only plays the highlighted line. However, learning lines needs gaps for you to say them. I will only cover those options that I find useful. Touch the three horizontal lines at the top right to display the options. At the top, I recommend using Loop on Scene while learning to repeatedly play a scene, then use Loop Off to practice the whole script. Next, Play can play your lines, a gap, or both. I prefer to use the gap. If I don't remember a line, I touch Prompt instead of having all of my lines read to me. If you do use both, the options are to hear the line first, then a gap, a gap first, then the line, or the line, a gap, and the line again. Touch the up arrow to close the options. That's it. It is time to download and try out Line Learner. I suggest that you practice with small segments of your script at first and do it with a friend to read the them lines until you're comfortable with creating, editing, and using Line Learner. It is frustrating to record all of your lines, then discover a mistake you cannot fix. Break a leg!